Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and in this video, we're gonna actually make our knowledge base search start working. In the previous video, we set up everything with Agolia. We imported all of our records. Currently, I only have four, but you may have more. But we imported all the records, and we made sure that the searching was actually working, and whenever we created or deleted an article within our knowledge base, Agolia was automatically updated. Now we're going to work on this. So let's make sure we start working on the search. And the very first thing we're going to have to do is create a controller to handle the search for us. So we'll say PHP errors and make controller. And we want to make a search controller. And now let's load that up in Sublime Text. App HTTP controllers. And we have a search here. Let's make a new method. And in here we'll just call it index. And what we want to do is let's just dine dump the request and we'll make sure we dine dump the entire request for now. Now to continue setting this up, what we're going to do is create a new route. So inside web.php uh, on about line 17, right here, we have the article view. Let's create a new route and it's going to be a post route, post search. We're going to use the search controller and the action that we want to use is index. Let's give it a name of just search. Now let's go over to our blade files. So resources views. Let's add this search component into our home page. So in home.blade.php, you can see right here near the top, we have our form group as well as the text field and everything like that. So let's add a form tag to the top of this. And the action is just going to be sorry, route search. And we also need to specify the method of post. And let's make sure we turn off autocomplete. And we'll just tab this in and end our form at the bottom. Now the one thing we need to do is also pass in the CSRF field. And the next thing we need to make sure is that our input has a name element and it does so it has terms so that would be passed in. All right, let's save everything and let's go back to our website and click refresh. Now let's type in the term. Let's type in the term price. You can see we have our token as well as the term there. So what we need to do is take this term, which just happens to be price and use a goal area to search up any of the articles that has price in there and then return them to the screen. And we already made sure that everything works. So this is actually pretty easy to do inside our search controller. Make sure we use app models article. And now we can reference the article. So we could say articles equals article search. And what do we want to search? Well, from the request, we want anything that's in the term. And then we just want to get those articles. So if we do a dine dump and we dine dump our articles, we take a look and we refresh. We're going to get one article and the reason we're getting it is because it has the word price in it. Now, if we come back and we type the word the, now you can see that we have three articles and that's because obviously the word the is going to be in either the content or the title. Let's say we want to look up the word sign up. Let's try that. In here, you can see that now we have the sign up here and it's returning the correct articles. Now, the one thing I noticed is when we press the search button, nothing actually happens. So let's fix that quickly by going to home.blade.php. And right here, you can see that we have a button. The type is button. So let's remove that. Let's come back and refresh. And now if we do a test, you can see that the button is working fine now. Now, when we search something, sign up, we have our listing of articles here. We're going to have to display them on the screen. So inside the search controller, let's just say return view and we want to return search dot index. And what we want to do is pass an array In the array. We'll just say compact and we want to pass the articles through. 
Now we need to make sure that we have this view. So in views, we'll right click and say new folder called search. And in here, a new file called index.blade.php. Now, what we can do is we can kind of go in here and take out some of the stuff that we have. So I'm going to just copy the entire home page. We should come back and fix this up, but I think this is fine for now. We'll leave a lot of the stuff in here. And instead of categories, we'll say search results. And in here, this is where we're going to have to reference our articles that we're passing through. So instead of the categories, we'll say articles. And let's not worry about chunking anything. So we'll say for each of the articles as an article. Oops. Article. Then hmm, let's actually make a table here. I think a table might work pretty good. So in Bootstrap, we'll add a table of table hover, table striped, and table ordered. Head, and we also have a body here. All right, now we're getting into it. So for each of our articles, as an article, we want a table row, and for each, and we're going to have two different columns here. The first column, article category, Oops. and we'll have to check on this one, category.php. Is the name that we want to use and then for the article whoops, article not PHP we want to use the title article title all right so we can clean up the rest of this code here and let's see we need a table heading for category and a table heading for the article okay so let's save everything come back and refresh and once hopefully this loads up you can see we have a little bit of an error unexpected end for each so if we come in here for each the articles as article coming in and it's that one right there that we don't need all right table table let's make sure that we're lining everything up here and it looks like I'm missing one div here at the very end. All right, let's try it one more time. Refresh. And I'm trying to get non-property view. So the article is not loading up the category name. So let's see if we go to, you know, that's actually right. Because in the article, we can have more than one category. So let's actually not worry about displaying the category now just easier to leave it out all right so refresh the article sign up is there so let's type in the word the and we can get all of them so the only thing we want to do is make sure that this is going to be clickable so if we go into the sidebar and we go to categories and view we can easily just take this link right here that we have the article view and let's paste it inside here and all we're doing basically is saying anytime that we display this article add a link to article.view with the article ID so now if we come back and we refresh you can see that we can go to each one of these no problem now really the only thing that we should do is kind of show the search results the term that we're searching here so to do this let's also say compact Actually, let's make a new variable called term request term and in here let's pass it through here and then in the compact function we want to pass the term back to the blade file so that means back in this blade file well up here where we're searching for something we could say value equals term and search results for term now if we come back and we search the word hmm, account account is there and also the search results for account is there now what we should do is add a little warning or something here if there's no search results so we can do this by one of two ways instead of using a for each we could use a for else we want to make sure we do end for else 
So what for else allows us to do is anytime that it doesn't find any articles, it's going to come down to the empty directive here and run any code in here. So we could just have this as an alert. We'll say alert warning and we'll say strong. Sorry, no articles have been found with the term. term. We'll put that in quotes. Now if we come back and we look for account, we'll say, sorry, no articles have been found with the term account. So we can do it like this, or the other nice way that we can do it, if we change this back to for each, remove our empty, and say at for each. In here we can do a simple if statement. We say if articles count is bigger than zero, then run this code here. Otherwise, run this code, which happens to be on our alert and if. It all really depends on what you want it to look like and how much, how much coding you want to spend making things work properly. Anyway, I think that's pretty good. Actually, you know what? The very next thing we're going to have to do before we end this is one of the things in the community free plan, we need to display the Agolia logo next to the search results. So if we click this, it'll send us to the Agolia page with a bunch of links here. I am actually just going to use this one right here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about downloading it, but you should have it within your own directory. All I'm going to do is at the bottom here, um, right down here after the row I'll make a new row and a new column and I'll just say text right and in here I'll just gonna have an image with that I'll say powered by a Golia search all right if we refresh you can see down here we have search by a Golia search and we have the alt tag and everything so we are abiding by the standards of the community free plan and that's actually it for this video hopefully you've learned a few things with the Golia search and you can see how powerful it is i'd like to thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video